how to create a landing page in Thinkific. Hello, I'm Sarah Cordner. I'm one of the verified Thinkific experts, and this is going to show you all of the different features of the Thinkific landing page. So to create your landing page for your course, go into Manage Learning Content, click on Courses, and then open the course that you would like to build a landing page for. When your course settings area loads up, up on the top right-hand corner of your page, you will see the build landing page option. You're going to click there and this will take you to the landing page builder. So you'll see here I've got a course that only has a title in at the moment. Now I have been playing around with some of the features on here to show you what they look like. But basically you'll have a pretty much a blank page over here when you first begin. The cool thing about the navigation here is when I hover over each section, it puts a little blue outline around it and it puts a blue underline under the corresponding editing area on the left hand side here. So you know always which bit you need to click on to edit it. So if I wanted to edit this banner area, I go to the blue underlined bit over here, click on that banner section and it opens up the editing area for that banner section. And you can see here, I can change the heading. I can change the image, which is behind it here. I can change the overlay. So the overlay is the film of color that goes underneath the title to make that title stand out a bit more over the top of the picture. Uh, you also, from the banner area here, um, you can change the size and alignment. So if you want to make it more centered, if you want to make it bigger, you can change that there. What I wanna do first of all though, is just so you understand now that uh, what you've got over here, this is the live preview. These are the corresponding corresponding areas for editing over here. You also can preview what it looks like on a mobile device by clicking on these options up here. So you can see here at the moment what that would look like on a mobile phone. I've been doing demos with this one here, so it's, it's not actually a real page. Um, so what I wanna show you here is how do you get all these little sections here in the first place? Well, you notice we can press the add button to add new sections here if we want to. Um, so that's one way. The other way is to press add section over here. So first of all, let's just go and have a look at what all of these look like. So I can, I'm just gonna pull over um, a whole bunch of sections here. Now you'll notice whenever you add a new section, it drops down at the bottom. So you'll see we've just added this bonus material area. This is the layout and you can change any of these things. You can change the background that's placed on, you can change the colors, the font, um, everything <laughs> that's in there. So um, just an example, if we wanna edit this bonus material area, we can click on there and it opens up the bonus material editing area. First of all, we can change the heading. Instead of saying bonus material, you can say what you get in this course. <laughs> you can change, obviously, um, the text in here. Blah, 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 blah. And you'll see that live, it previews. Now, if I wanted to change the background, I can change that image background there. You see there's just that gray thing there at the moment. Um, we can also go in and change each of these bonus sections. We can change the image. So you see there, we've got a little picture of a document. You know, I can change this to an arrow if I want to. Have a little scroll through. See, it's now an arrow. Nice and easy, and I can change all of these. You get a free puppy. Woo! <laughs> Um, so <laughs> that is how you edit all of these. Um, if you're happy with that, you can press save. Now, if you don't like it, you just press delete section. So I'm going to more just play around and show you what each of the different sections are. So if I add another section, we can add banners, we can add calls to action. Now, calls to action is probably the most important one that you'll add in here. The call to action is where you put this button that says get started now. Um, this is what people press to buy and enroll in your course. So I am gonna pay attention to this one. A call to action um, is, uh, what we where we want to say, you know, hurry, enroll now, last chance, limited places, or change your life in X, Y, and Z way by enrolling today. So you can obviously change your text here. This is where I'd say something like, enroll now to get your free puppy, <laughs> whatever it is that you're promising. Um, this is where you can change your subheading. But the button bit is what I want to focus on. The button is our little dot over here. Where do you want that button to send people? Now, I'm playing around with the Facebook group formula course, right? This is a pretend course I'm throwing up here. So I'm gonna go select a destination. You want to send them to the checkout, okay? The checkout is where they're going to pay for the course. So you want this button to go to that checkout. And checkout for what? Well, it's the checkout for this course. So I'm gonna type in, I've got lots of courses in here, the Facebook group formula. So when they click this button, 
I want to send them to the checkout for this particular course and the price is X, right? Um, what do we want the button to say? Um, you know, you might want it to say enroll now. And obviously you can put capitals if you want, I'm only doing demos here. And then of course we can change that picture there. If I wanted to change and not have that gray thing, I'll just go and pull up a random picture over here. Um, Let's see if I've got something I can use, <laughs> vaguely useful. Oh no, I'm just going to pick that just for the sake of demonstration. I don't have anything particularly suitable. Now in terms of finding these images, um, I like to use Canva. You'll see here that it says what dimension this image needs to be. So all you would do to get the right dimension is go into Canva. And once you're in the Canva area, you have this option to create a design. Press custom size, and the size was 1440 by 720. So that will then create new design. It will give you an image that's the right size. And, um, you know, let's pretend my course is about, oh, I think it is, my pretend one's about Facebook. So I'm going to type in Facebook, and, you know, boom, there we go. I'll drag and drop that, pull it right to the edges so that it all fits the right size. You know, I don't want somebody's big finger in there, but, you know, you get the point of, of what that would look like. You would just go and upload that there. Again, you can play with the opacity on here so that the text actually stands out more over the image. You see there, you would definitely want to, wouldn't want to use an image that has um, text on it because you can see that you've got text on text then. But there you go. That's what that does. Now let's go on over to see some more sections. Other sections we have in here, you can add checklists. So boom, let's take me down to the very bottom. That's what a checklist looks like. And you can make it double column like that. You can change those icons as well. Click on the checklist item, here you go. So I can change the heading. I can change the layout so that it's just one column or keep it at the two columns. So you see there now it's one column. Um, and just in here, you can add as many checklist items as you want. So if you've got, you know, 20 learning outcomes, for instance, you want to list, uh, you just press add a checklist item and it gives you another one. <laughs> so you can keep adding more in. You can change it from a, t a tick to something else, um, again, by just clicking on here and finding the icon that you want, um, which makes it nice and personalizable. That's a word. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go add another section, see what else we've got here. Categories, you can add a countdown timer. You can add your curriculum table for your course. You can add what's called icons and text. Now I'm just going to show you what they all look like. So that's what an icons and text looks like. Again, remember you can change the colors, change the icons, change the text by clicking on it. You can add a frequently asked questions section. That's what that looks like down there. Where is it? There we go. Boom. Frequently asked questions. You can add more sections. You can add images with text. There we go. And again, you can make that one column or you can make that two just to show you how you can do that there. You got your layout um, and oh, somewhere in there anyway <laughs> you can change all the text you can add whatever images you want you can add videos so if you've got some videos that you want to pop in here to help you sell your course where you talk about what's in it upsells you can add reviews you can add testimonials you can add logos you know perhaps you've been featured in a certain magazine or a certain blog so you can do something like as seen in and put those logos of where you've been published just like that so have a little play around just keep pressing add section add section add section see what they all look like and then you know just go back and remove the ones that you don't want you see here i just added that social reviews in there now you can move all of these around by just dragging and dropping if you wanted that bit to be higher up at the top of the page and you wanted that one to be there you can just drag and drop to move them all around really really simple and again you know you can scroll through and just see what that will look like when it's on mobile there we go. Um, of course, I've not done any design work on this. <laughs> I'm just showing you what the actual features are at this stage. But hopefully you can see now from there just how easy it is to create beautiful landing pages here on the Thinkific platform to sell your courses and convince those students to buy. There you go. If you need any help creating your Thinkific platform, simply give me an email, sarah at sarahcordner.com, or you can go and get a quote for my done for you services at sarahcordner.com forward slash services. My team and I will help you get your course set up on the Thinkific platform for you so you can just concentrate on your tech. Let me know if you'd like a hand and otherwise good luck with your course creation.